howdy do howligans i'm getting the game finished up uh it should be ready i hope <laughs> what well, dog do a fighting santa y'all listen um quick thing so not only is there a brand new punch emote that i made yesterday but uh there's a second new emote that I uploaded right before stream, because guess who just finished it? If you are in the neighborhood looking for a puke emote, uh, check your animated emotes tab or type in C... What is it? Clara D6 puke? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, I... I... Huge shout out, by the way, to Soulburn for giving me a better tutorial on, like, how to animate the flow of, of, of like, water or liquid. Um, that was delightfully fun to work on. Uh, I'm gonna probably tweak the colors a bit now that I look at it, but it will be available for commission starting in January if you would also like your very own puke Luke emote. Uh, <laughs> train wrecked, hello! Happy holidays, everyone! Welcome, welcome! We are looking to leave this menu. Okay. I have played Viscera Cleanup Detail before, but it was a long time ago, and I don't super remember the controls well. So, uh... <laughs> forgive me if this is an absolute mess. Um... I'm very excited to play the Santa version. I wanted to do something festive, and I had this in my, my Steam library. And I, I honestly have been kind of stressed, and I do like cleaning as a way to de-stress, you know? I have 100% this DLC twice. I have almost 100% the entire game. It is so satisfying to 100% this game. I don't know if I'll do it on stream, but it's a lot of fun. <laughs> a story. I love that my emotes can be used to tell a tale. A tale of woe. Um... Tragic Christmas Slaughter, size medium. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> oh, this got so much louder outside of the menu. Hold on. Why so loud? So loud. Sorry, I try to make sure I'm testing audio before I stream, but, uh... Sometimes things just don't work out. <laughs> I was too busy drawing puke. You'll have to excuse me. <laughs> Do not burn the stools. Thank you for the warning. Thank you. Thank you. Maripalmas. That is so cute. Stop. <laughs> All right. I... Oh, no. <gasps> the elves. Oh, I knew it was going to be. But, but I didn't think it was gonna be elves! I don't know why I thought it was gonna just be the aliens! Oh, no, no, no! Ho, 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 more like no, 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 bruh! Santa? What did you do? Oh, boy. I <laughs> Santa really checked their balls! <laughs> Alright, I have to remember how to play the game now. Um... Unchematic. Please swipe your card and pull the crank. Attention. Do not put gum on or around the device. Any and all perpetrators will be bumped up for reassessment. Pat boy, what the hell? Thank you for the thousand biddies. Thank you so for the bunch. <laughs> oh, tequila, hello. Have a productive shift. Okie dokie. Has your janitorial work... Oh, hold on. <laughs> Has your janitorial work here met the requirements of the company as well as your own personal high standards? Oh no, not even a little bit. I'm not done. Um... I don't want to step in all this blood, but I need my, uh, mop bucket. Oh no! What happened here? Yeah, this music is really loud. How do I turn it off? I'm so sorry. Give me a minute. It looks like it's directional. Okay, hopefully that's, that's better. Um, um... Oh, we received a level one hype train emote! Well, thank y'all! Um, hold the phone. I have to remember how to clean. 
Um, I need a water bucket. I don't want to make more of a mess. Oh, no! Oh, this is horrible. This is the... That's what I want. Is my bucket. Okay. And then I... I have to pick up your corpse. Oh, I'm so sorry. Tinsel, no! Tinsel, you dumb elf god. Oh, I'm just making it worse. All right, I've named you Tinsel. Where's the incinerator? Is that the incinerator? Oh, I, oh, I'm gonna just put your corpse down. Hold on. Where is the incinerator? <gasps> Oh boy. Um, oh no. Oh, what the hell? Why are there so many knives? Santa, are you okay? Why do you have so many bottles of rum? Smack spaniels? That's not good, bud. Are you okay, Santa? You've been naughty this year. Oh, can I use the fireplace? Oh, neat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 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 making a mess. Hold on. She's oh Jig Dinkle Bell She's making a mess. She's making a mess. <laughs> Alright. Uh who's this? Sappy Littleton. Oh! Oh, I thought it fell into the wall. Ding dong. All right. Come here, bud. Into the fireplace, ho, ho, ho. And a bottle of rum. Oh, your body's in pieces. Oh, no. Ah. Oh, you're not. Get in there. Come on. God, that's got a smell. You're not supposed to do this with fireplaces. It's got to smell real, real bad. Who are you? Biggie Faffler. It wasn't the same after Mrs. Claus divorced him. <laughs> oh, it's so sad. Sticky? Honey toes? Oh, I hate that entire concept. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, none of you should be sticky. Stop putting your feet in substances that don't belong there. Naughty, naughty, naughty elves. What's your name? Itchy Frizzle Pazzle? Who named you? Give yourself a new name. Just name yourself Greg. It'll be fine. Oh, God. Cute elf names. Yeah. Everything else is bad, though. I shouldn't be getting blood on the... Oh, gosh. <gasps> I can't get blood on the gifts. The children. What will the children say? They'll say, Clara, how could you do this to me? <laughs> It'll be all my fault. What, who are you? Shorty Tickler? Hey, Shorty, I'm here to give you a little tickle. That's that's straight up harassment. That is workplace harassment, my man. Don't do that. Not without permission, at least. Uh... There you are. Stokey Piddlefinger. I have a lot of questions about elf culture, I think. Hey, yo, I'm not the one who named them. Don't come for me. Impy Tiny Toes. Why are elves so uh, attached to feet names? I, well, I guess they're not really attached anymore, but um... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know I could get a bucket for this, but I'm just gonna... I don't want to risk dropping limbs on the ground. You know what I mean? Come here. I retract my last statement, not cute names. Yeah, they've been getting progressively more uncomfortable. Oh god, how did you get dismembered? What did you do? Okay, let's get your little floppy arm. You can get rid of dynamite by dropping it in a bucket of water. Oh, thank you. What happens if I burn it? Is that gonna be bad? Perkins snots a lot. Well, I guess you don't really have to worry about your mucus problem anymore. Come on. There we go. Uh, well, let's grab, uh, bleh, these guys. 
Trixie Pine Hat. See, that is a perfectly respectable elf name. I don't know what's up with shorty honey toes or whatever, but... Get out of here, shorty tickler. I'm... I'm so confused. All right, who are you? Stinky Smittle Feet again. I don't mean to be offensive. I just don't understand elf culture and feet. I don't get it. I don't... It. I don't understand. I don't like it. All right, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. All right. And there you go, buddy. Oh, boy. Maybe it would be faster to just put these all in a bucket. No, I don't think that's the right bucket for limbs. I don't remember. Oh, hold on. Rin Winkle Snuffles? Okay, that's like way better. You had such a good name and such a bad outcome. <laughs> Excuse me, but the Honey Toes is a prestigious elf family stretching back generations. If you would be as good as to besmirch the good name of the Honey Toes, they besmirched themselves by having a silly name. <laughs> Oh man, I'm just making that door so gross. Oh, nasty. All right, but we're gonna focus on getting all of the bodies taken care of first. Um, there's no point in cleaning twice, am I right? Forget how I get rid of the bottles. Oh, it's just a mess in here. All right, hold on. Let me grab a. Disposal bin, that's what I want. Perfect. All right, we're just gonna, we're just gonna onk that there, excuse me. Eh. There you go, bud. Who is this? Nappy fun pants. I'm gonna be so honest, I thought that said something else. I really thought that said nipple for a hot second. I was gonna be like, hey, yo. In my defense, the text is very small and I have bad vision. Please don't come for me. All right. Oh, God. All right, Nappy. Let's grab the rest of you, bud. No, I want to pick up the rest of your legs. Get in there. Eh. <laughs> Wiggle. And we're just gonna plonk you. Um, I can burn, uh, like, bottles and stuff, right? Those can also go in the fireplace. Sorry, it's, it's been a while since I've played. Ooh. Who are you? Silky Jingles. I feel like you're a jazz musician. I don't know why. I feel like Silky Jingles is, like, the jazz musician of the elves. <laughs> Um, there's an arm. Oh, that sounds delightful. Oh no! God dang it! Oh, what's the point of putting you in a box if you're just gonna fall out of the box? Oh, god dang it. Ugh, how do I set that right? How do I turn it? Ugh. Screw it. Burn. It's always so much better with friends because someone's always kicking over your bloody water buckets. <laughs> That's the last thing I need right now. This is beautiful. I'm so glad. I think looking at it, I want to change the colors a bit so that they translate better. Um, but that's, again, I always use myself as a guinea pig for emotes now. What is this? Oh, is that a shotgun shell? The elves got mowed down by a shotgun? Bruh! That's rough! There's a button. Yeah, I forget what all those buttons are. Oh, what a mess. Fred, howdy doody, how's it going? We're, uh, trying to clean up this absolute disaster. Oh, Santa! 
Santa. No, he didn't get run over by a reindeer. In this case, he went on a rampage. <laughs> get in there. Who are you? Catchy little arm. The irony of little arm having their entire body intact. <laughs> Shift. Oh, let me see. Oh, thank you. Would it have been better if it was Santa ripping into them with his bare hands? You know... Oh, I don't want to go down here. What the hell? Oh, God. You impaled someone on antlers? You monster. Who are you? Snowy Stuffles. Well, Snowy, you've seen better days, huh, bud? Rip, yeah, this is a very silly DLC. I'm well. I'm actually having a great day. I got a nice chunk of work done. Um, and I'm very proud of how it turned out. Again, I got I got help. Uh, huge, huge shout out to Soul. But uh, uh, earlier today, I was working on a um, a new emote. Snarky Tickles? I'm pretty sure there was another Tickles. So uh, they, there were families here. Oh, no. Come on. There we go. <laughs> I feel kind of silly just like jamming a, a a thumb drive into a little swipey card reader. All right, we're gonna we're gonna. Oh, I don't like that he's looking at me. Look away! I don't like that he's making eye contact. Stop looking at me. Stop. Well, yeah, just look at the ceiling, bud. Oh, don't you love all those squelching noises? Aren't those just delightful? The names are random. Got tracks. All right, let's just pick you up. Oh, I'm scared to go down there. Oh, Santa, you blew a hole in your wall. Why would you do that? That's not where the fireplace is. Wow. All righty, let's see what's down here. More antler. Oh, what the hell? Whiny Wimper? Yeah, well, you're not whimpering anymore, bud. It's recommended to mop blood first. Eh! Even if I mop the blood, it's just there's just gonna be more of it when I pick up more corpses, right? Hey, bud, you wanna you wanna take a little dip? Um Oh, these are all darts in the wall? <gasps> Did he kill the reindeer, too? Why? Can I not pick up the whole bucket? There we go. All right, let's just, uh, take this up. Oh, your hand is falling out of the bucket! Oh, beans. Okay, we're gonna... Where'd that arm go? Hey, you, come here. Come on. Wahoo! <laughs> I always clean the floors because you track it everywhere. The bit with hopping while walking will prevent you from tracking blood very far. Eh. Maybe I'll come to regret it, but for now, I'm I'm fine just mopping it all later. Okay. Uh, let's put your bits in here. Can I fit three elves in this bucket? Ah, oh, come on. Can I, can I fit three of you? I don't think it's worth the risk. We're just gonna, we're just gonna take our time. Ah, it just takes some time. Girl, you got a box of elves. It'll be all right. They're already dead. <laughs> come on. Ugh. I'm always afraid that I'm gonna hurt myself somehow on the fire. Uh, there was one more body. Come on, pal. I just realized that their heads jingle with their little bell on their heads. <laughs> oh God, excellent Foley work. I hate it, thanks. Bam. Oh, let's grab another bucket for those uh, reindeer bits. Oh, nards. All right. This is also why I don't like cleaning up the floor first, because sometimes you just get extra bits out of the machine. 
I don't want a leg. I want a box. Uh, thank you. Now I gotta fill it with limbs. Ugh. Nope. Get in there. There we go. You. All right. Now let's go grab those reindeers. Yeah. All right. Let's see how much reindeer chunk I can fit in here. That's a big reindeer chunk. That's too big. That should fit. Uh. All right. Careful. This is a delicate operation. What did I join to? Santa went on a rampage and we got hired to clean it up. Oh. Come on. There we go. <laughs> I'm a victor. Wow. Um, can I use this bucket? Come on. <laughs> oh, they're kind of too big, huh? Well, all right, I tried. Um. Oh, there's more reindeer. Okay, let me just grab a big box. There's more reindeer bits. <laughs> Please don't be more limbs. Please, thank you. Spooky. <laughs> I don't think most incinerators will hurt you even if you put your face up against them. I, I hope not, because I don't want to catch on fire right now. I'm just here to do my job and go home. Um. Is that a hoof? I think it used to be. Come here. Come here. Eh. We're gonna just plonk you in there. No. Ah, oh, beans. Sorry, these reindeer bits are huge. Watch the door. Watch the stairs. Come on. Come on, Santa. You can do it. Pave the way. Put your back into it. Okay. Ding dong. All right, now we just need to grab the rest of the reindeer. Eh. Eh. Get that all settled. And then... No, no! Come on. Okay. Are there any little bits other than, like, ammunition and antlers? No. Okay, cool. We're just gonna take you upstairs. Do, 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 do. Who went nuts? Santa or Rudolph? I'm pretty sure it was Santa, unfortunately. I still have to go upstairs, too. Yike. Ugh. Alright, let's go see... What else is down here? Missed a chunk of something. Put it in this bucket. Oh, is that Rudolph's nose? Oh, Rudolph for sure is dead. All right, let's just put all of these in this here bucket. And I'll grab the, uh, uh, these guys. Whimsical Tiny Toes. Man, the Tiny Toes family had a lot of losses today, huh? <laughs> Ding dong. Save that, put it in the blue trunk. Oh, beans, okay. Oh, I forgot about the blue trunk thing. Hold on. Oh. I have to get it out of the 
container. I, I have to get it out of the... Eh. That worked. <laughs> All right, the, the blue box was over here, right? Think. All righty. Um, let's grab the other names. Wimpy Wiggle. <laughs> you want to list? No, thank you. I will find them or I won't. I'm going to leave it up to chance. All right, this chair is like super in my way. So I'm going to just move that out of the way. I need to pick up all these little bits on the floor too. They're also kind of in my way. Pixie Jangle Feet. Man, they really pride themselves on their feet, huh? No relation! I was just thinking, there's no way Wiggles would be related to someone who's wimpy. Okay, so... Do I have... No, let's grab a bucket. Let's clean up the floor over here, because it's kind of hard to move around. Because I can't rebuild this wall, right? All right, we're gonna... Oh, it's all glitching. All right, this is fine. Eh. There you go. Quack. Quack. Um... Where is that radio? I'm losing my mind. Where is it? Oh, there's an elf here! I don't even see you, bud. All right. In you go. Hold on. Who are you? Eh. Happy stickles. Not anymore, you're not. <laughs> On a shelf. <laughs> no, don't say that. I'm just move that for now. Um, where is the radio? I feel crazy because I know it's like a physical object in these games, and I cannot figure out where it is. I saw a meme where they made the elf on a snel shelf a snitch in a ditch. I am so glad I was not in an elf on a shelf household. I, I personally, I don't know. I actually, I saw somebody um, put their elf on a shelf in their oven and then forgot and then preheated their oven and then set their elf on a shelf on fire. And I thought that was kind of poetic if I'm being honest. Um, man. Oh, this used to be a door, huh? With the dynamite in water? What could possibly go wrong? It'll be fine. Look, it's gonna be fine. See? Nothing happened. <laughs> okay, maybe I was wrong. I'm a I'm a new janitor. <laughs> okay, do I have to restart? No, perfect. Alright. Um Oh, hey, it's me. Or what's left of me. <laughs> oh, where, how'd you, how'd you get there? I thought I cleaned all of you up. Oh, God. Come here. Eh. Oh, there's a name. Waxy Big Fist? Hot. <laughs> Now there's stuff on the ceiling, is there? No, it's not looking... Oh, a little bit. That's fine, we'll get to it. Noted. Um... Oh, hey, here's the rest of me. All right, we're just gonna... Yeet. 
Ho ho ho! Oh, I thought that would throw further. Did you on purpose? No, I want I didn't think anything was gonna happen. I didn't realize I could explode. <laughs> Well, it's a good thing I didn't, uh, mop yet. Alright, we're gonna just throw you in there. We're gonna give you a hand. And we'll get the rest of that chunk. There we go. And now it's like nothing went wrong at all. Oh boy. So many elves. <laughs> Manny, hello! Happy holidays! Um, what happened to you, my man? There's not enough space. Is there a place to stack all those stools? Because there's so many of them. There's the tanky two feet. You sure do have two of them. Bing bong. Did I burn a toy? I thought I burned an elf. My bad. That's fine. I mean, would a child want a toy that's covered in viscera? Probably not. Oh god. I'm gonna have to clean up all those knives. There's a really, really hard achievement for stacking stools. Oh, I don't want to do that. Penny Big Ears. I mostly just wanted to know if they had, like, a specific designated place. Like, because in, like, the basic Viscera cleanup game, there's, like, places to put stuff and stack stuff. Um. What's this? Boy gun? All right, let's see what's upstairs. Oh, well, we found what's upstairs. All right, let's grab a box for this. What a mess. The stools are for reaching high places. But is there like anywhere I can put them specifically or does that not matter? I hope it's not un Christmassy to burn a hat, but I don't really see how ah! it's gonna help me. Oh, your body just fell apart. Delightful. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the elf bits, mmm, delightful. <laughs> oh, no. Come on. Yeah. You can burn them if you aren't going for the achievement. Yeah, I don't, I don't care about an achievement. Uh, mostly because I don't have to do the work for it. Scratchy sack fest? Um... I, I guess because it's like Santa's sack. Specifically the one that he uses to deliver presents. Is it me or is this game real crunchy? Yeah, it's it's been kind of crunchy for me too. Um, We're just gonna plop you in there. And there's something here. Oh, hey! It's my noggin! Or it was. Great. Careful! Careful! Ding dong! Uh, do the knives go anywhere or should I just throw them away? Oh, yikers. Alright, let's get another bucket. Knives are trash. Gorgeous. Thank y'all. Yeah, everything's crunchy. Is Everything that shouldn't be crunchy is crunchy, I should say. Right? The floor... No one ever wants to hear that the floor is crunchy. Right? Like, never is that a good thing to hear. Like, you don't compliment someone by being like, hmm, this sure is a crunchy floor. You know what I mean? Right, we're just gonna... Whoops. Uh, there was another one over here. But there was half of a body. Where's his other half? Oh, there it is. Found it. 
You know, from this angle, it looks like they're just taking a bath together. Yeah, I got something on the ceiling, but it's fine. I'll clean it off. Barefoot on crunchy carpet. Ugh. Oh, that's deeply upsetting. Scampy long nose. Ink. Registered. Enjoy that mental image. It makes me nauseous. <laughs> Crinkly coin purse. What are you, a thief elf? That sounds like a rogue if I've ever seen one. You know what they said about Scampy? No, I'm afraid to ask. <laughs> and then there's Stumpy Patchfoot. Okie doke. We're gonna just ding dong. All right, that should be all of the elf bits. Um, let's start picking up... How am I gonna... I'm gonna have to clean all these tables for the presents. Ugh. Ugh, how am I gonna do this? Oh, you know what? Real quick, I just realized I thought I had it running, but I didn't. There we go. I forgot to run my, uh, uh, uh closed captioning. Excuse me. Oh, let's save. All right, and... Ah. Oh, I found more elf bits. Hold on. Let's, uh... Clean this up to the best of my ability. 41 minutes in, Clara's declared no more elf bits, except I was wrong. And there is another elf that I missed, and I just saw him on the table. There'll be more limbs. Oh, frick. You're kidding. All right, we'll come back for those. Hey, pal. All right, we're gonna just... Dunk you in. Nope, I don't want that. Ugh. Yep. Um. Oh, you got splintered with the wood? Bro, that sucks. Let's grab your torso. And your leggy. Oh, and your arm. Oh, God. Every part of you is in pieces. Where'd that arm go? Oh, boy. Mmm, this is looking real tasty, ain't it? Santa's workshop of Iron Ship Confirm. <laughs> New level of deck the halls. Stop. That would have been a really good name for this uh, DLC. That would have been a really good alternative. Oh, hold on. Uh, tiny stockings. Rest in pieces, bud. Click. All right, let's finish cleaning up this uh, door chunk. It's gonna be hard because they're so big and my box isn't it. Dang it. Eh. Oh, I missed a leg. Hold the phone. Wow. What do you mean freezing? What'd I do? Hold on, no. <laughs> All right, putting the wood in this box, kind of a pain in the butt because the wood chunks are so big, so I'm just going to run them back and forth real quick. Uh, oh, there's a hat. All right. Come 
come on. No, what did what did I do? Tell me, where did I go wrong? I need to know now. <laughs> you can't just be like, don't say that, and then not tell me what I did. Um, you're gonna scream when you see my clips, <laughs> man. I was so excited. I was working on some TikTok edits today, and I realized I needed to grab some extra clips for context. And man, I was so annoyed because the clip feature wasn't working. So that's how I ended up finishing up the uh, emotes instead. Oker doker, artichoker. Pick you up. Meow. And we're gonna pick this up. I'm not gonna be the one to say NSFW stuff. I'll say this, like, this is a 16 plus community. If it's stuff you've heard at school, right? Like, it's fine. Um, obviously, you know, there's lines, but I don't know, for context, I was hanging out in Prince stream earlier and we were talking about the Baldur's Gate um, update that added physics and um, specifically physics to appendages. Um, and I didn't realize that the appendage physics that they added uh, include the whole spaghetti and meatballs. I didn't realize that there were meatballs in the game. I thought it was just the spaghetti. I wasn't really looking at those details. Didn't know that. <laughs> uh, let's see. There's more shotgun shells. Oh, there's another elf? No, those are toys. A creepy looking toy, though, I'll be honest. All right, let's grab. Get this gift out of here. The whole Fazolis. I wasn't looking. No, I had no idea they had the, the, the whole nine yards. Like, I didn't I didn't know that genuinely. Uh. Well, I'm gonna leave this here in case more rogue bits come out. Oh, hold on. There is a rogue. Oh, frick. There is a rogue bit. There's this tentacle piece. Thank. Dang it. Thank. Let's go. Ow. Ow. Let's clean up all of this. There's like bottles down here. There's a bunch of... Oh, I have to put the TNT in water. We're gonna learn from my mistakes. You know what? Let's pick this up and bring it. Actually, let's make use of this bucket. You know what? Hold on. I, can I fit now? There we go. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, I blew myself up. Um, I put dynamite in the furnace. Everyone's like, don't do that. I was like, oh, it'll be fine. And then I exploded and it was not fine, dear reader. Um, it was in fact a bad decision. So I have to get a water bucket to douse the dynamite and prevent it from exploding. Um, ugh. Man. Should I get rid of the weapons uh, in the fireplace or do I need to keep those? Is that how you start over? No, they just hire a new person and you just keep playing, but then you have to clean up your old corpse. So it's not super ideal because it makes more work for yourself. Um, let's pick up. Oh, this is a Molotov? That can't go in the fire. Good thing some of these are empty, at least. Oh, beans. Oh, double beans. Where am I? Here we are. Yeah, these are Molotovs, bro. What are you doing, Santa? Can't be 
wasting stuff like that. Oh, whoops. I just made more work for myself. <laughs> Maybe that's the solution, though, is to just break it so then I don't have to worry about it catching on fire. Clink. How much is this game? Oh, I'm so sorry to say I don't remember. I've had this in my Steam library for a while. It might be on sale, though. There's a pretty big sale happening at the moment. It's on a mega sale? Nice. Now's your chance to pick it up, then. They should make a sequel to this game. I would for sure play it again. That's what I wanted. Where'd you go? Is it messy to do it like that? Maybe, but at least it makes them not whole bottles of liquor. With, like, levels from newer games. Kind of like what they've been doing with um, Power Wash Sim, where they'll have, like, maps themed on other games. I think that would be really fun. Viscera Cleanup Detail, Doom Edition, stuff like that. This is what I was looking for. Alright, so we'll take this up first. <gasps> oh! If I drop this, it's gonna suck so hard because I'm gonna have to pick it all up again. And like, man, do I not want to have to pick all these little guys up again. All right, there we go. Wow. Okay, next up is... Uh, I think I can set this on fire, right? I don't think I need to keep the guns. Whoops. Man, that crunchy, crunchy glass sure feels good on my booted feet. All right, I think all that's left down here other than the cleaning part is the dynamite and then the antlers. Do I need to keep the antlers or can I just toss them? We're gonna just... Wow. Imagine if these devs and the Power Wash team <laughs> teamed up. That would be really fun, actually. That'd be great. Yeah, I don't know where the antlers go. Antlers are trash, thank you. I was, like, looking for a mount. Oh, God, what just happened? I was looking for a mount, but that's, like, super not an option. Wahoo! Oh, these physics make me nauseous sometimes. Grab these. Yoink. They are making a sequel to this game? That makes sense. It's a good game. Eh. I don't know if that's gonna be enough. Um. Yeet. No. I don't think I'm enough space to be eating stuff. Um. What kind of silly little weapon is that? We're just gonna toss that in there. It's the knife. I think I had another knife. Yeah. All right, let's grab another bucket. And pick up more bits. Is this a Christmas thing? Yeah, it's a Christmas themed map for Viscera cleanup detail. All right, let's get rid of all of these knives. These are ginormous knives, by the way. Holy hell. They're like... Look at the length of this blade. Jeez. Come on. Get in there. Oh, gosh. Look at all this... liquor. Ooh! Dear Santa Claus, it was my birthday Friday. Mommy got me only 23 presents and a soccer field cake. I hate her. I said you were better. I want 23 steak pies, 12 ice creams, 18 trays of reindeer chocolates, 3 big boxes of fudge, a pair 5 computer with conscription, 
three brown ops, and a Nitro Genie go kart, Stevie Chubbs. Man, I never did big Christmas lists as a kid. Uh, we were told we could get three things, which I think was reasonable because my parents had to get gifts for all of their children. Um, but so, like, I would always ask for, like, little stuff. I want a new Playbox 180 and a new Y-Phone 732S and the new game Racer Man Car Driver game. Uh, I also want a new bike because this... The one I got last year is dirty and I want a new Windbreaker Air Rifle too. I've been good, so I want these. Bruh, just clean the bike. Bikes can last a long time. Now I know why he snapped. Oh, these are trash? Mr. Santa Claus, happy Christmas. This year I want a new Arachnoboy boy comic, a new motorbike, a new archery set, a new 58 inch TV, a killer falcon like the one Uncle Gunter has, a new stereo to make the butler mad, and a big tin of chocolate caviars. But the red ones, not the shit purple ones you gave me last year. What? I have been very good and only kicked at people this... Only kicked people at school this year and the butler and the man at the carnival, but that was only one time for the clown at my birthday fair. Timothy, you're a little bit of a shit. At least say please. I don't know my comic was already out. This is looking pretty full. All right, delicate operation, let's go. Boom! Ding dong. Timothy did all of this, I'm calling it. <laughs> Timothy was Santa's last straw. Eggnog? I'm gonna be honest, I don't really like eggnog that much. They can slimy? Ugh. I definitely don't like eggnog now. I don't ever want to drink something that's marketed as thick and slimy, bruh. That's very unappetizing. Final notice, Mr. Claus, it is with great regret that I find myself forced to write this correspondence once more. As our investigation determined, the atrocious conditions which you force upon our elven brethren must cease immediately. The low pay, the incredibly long work days, the lack of holidays, it's inhuman! If we at the Union do not see radical changes in the next three weeks, we'll be forced to pursue legal channels. And then, sir, you shall see the full fury of the elves is not so small. Good day, Tiny Littleton Secretary General. Well... Wait, wait, that means Santa sucks and is anti-Union. Ew. Dear Mr. Claus, I have in my possession video footage, recorded in infrared, of you along with your gang entering one of my presences Near the fireplace. The footage also shows littering and you personally removing my valuable property, milk, glass, and confectionery items. At present, I am preparing to forward the evidence to local authorities unless I receive compensation from your organization in the sum of no less than $100,000. Out! <laughs> I have generously decided to give you until Monday to complete this transaction or face the consequences of your transgression. Yours faithfully, sorry, yours faithfully, Lord Deviant Snakely. Guess what? Um, if it's not a legal head from an actual law office, that piece of paper means absolutely nothing. It's it's not like legally binding if it's just a threatening letter. Urgent, Mr. Claus, it is with heavy heart and dwindling pocket that we regret to inform you that you are being sued in the amount of two hundred fifty thousand dollars. The claims are as follows: destruction of property, damages, emotional suffering, public disturbance, and obscenity. Apparently, a reindeer has defecated across a house or houses as they passed by the area. For full claims and details, please read through pages 5 through 49. Yours, Dick Bergen Sons. <laughs> no, not the snakely wives. <laughs> um, emotional suffering is one of the hardest legal cases to uh, uh, argue for. Dear brother, I'm in jail again and need bail money. I was caught whipping children in the streets. It's this one town, they're always trouble. I know you told me not to go out at Christmas, but why must you have all the fun? I'm so bored. I hope you send an elf with the money soon. I do like elves, so fragile. Remember you owe me for that Russian Mafia incident, your brother Krampus. Oh man, what a mess. Dear sir, find enclosed your invoice and receipt for the following items. Five crates of Trinit, Trinitro Toluene, two boxes of select heavy edged blades and eight boxes of 12 gauge shotgun shells. Pleasure doing business with you, sir, and don't forget about our shoot 'em and loot 'em sale! All items 25% off and more off until the first. Shooters and looters, find munitions since 2001. Yikers. Bang. Bang. 
That's a lot of crates of TNT. Dang. Well, I want to read this. Dear Mr. Claus, invoice December 5th. Your total for this month comes to toys and other play items, $953,000. Electronic devices, $5 million. Shipping and handling, $35,000. Total, $6 million. Payment will be required by no later than the 4th of the following month. See, I always thought that Santa's elves made everything in-house. Uh, which always kind of begged the question, in the movies where Santa is real, right? Like, wouldn't capitalists hate that because other people are making their products and they are not profiting? Because otherwise, how would Santa have the money to purchase all of these products? Mr. Claus, Yuletide greetings, Mr. Claus. I represent a select group of people with great gift-giving ambitions. Oh, yikes! Ew! Oh, Santa's just awful! Oh, I feel way less bad now. Icky. Um... We're gonna just... Eh. Get in there. In the movies where Santa is real, why don't people believe in Santa, right? It it never makes sense. Yeah, this went from like, oh no, Santa, why did you snap to, oh, ew, Santa, you're the worst. <laughs> like, <laughs> in no time flat. I think they were trying to cold recruit him. I think the fact that he kept the letter is sus. Um. Cool, it's just dynamite in here. All right, let's. Um. I know that's not what this is used for, but like it was there. Ah. Okay. Uh, nice. Next step. Let's go upstairs. Well, it wasn't a pile of horrible letters. Yeah, but like, I don't know, Santa, pay the union. Bruh, it's not that hard. All right, is there anything else that I need to pick up here? Yes. Oh no, what'd I just do? God dang it. Dink. Donk. Oh! No! Santa! No! God dang it. Hey, remember when I was like, oh, that's the last of the elves! I was so wrong. Oh, I was horribly wrong. Oh, this is just gonna make more blood! All right, hold on. We're gonna just pick up that leg. Santa, god dang it, who are you? Weepy sock foot. That sounds like um like a trench foot disease, you know? Okay, back up the stairs. God. This makes me wonder if Santa was, like, trying to hide the evidence and then the rest of the elves showed up for work and he finished the job. Can I fit you in here? Oh, you have so many stab wounds, pal! Oh, that's awful. Yeah, that's true. This was planned. That that tracks. I don't think I think Santa's MIA. I think he's just gone. He dipped. Little tinkles. That sure is a name. Bing bong. Oh, uh, we're gonna go and grab. Tall long finger. Man, your only trait was being a long person, huh? Alright. Um. Uh, 
<laughs> that was my nickname in high school. <laughs> oh, I forgot about you. Hold on. Whoops. Whoops. Yeet. Okay. I think I can now safely begin the process of cleaning. Um, all right, let's get a water bucket. And we'll douse all that uh, dynamite first. So I put the dynamite in the water, right? But then what? And I put it in the, the fireplace like this? Is that the idea? One way to find out. And then I'm gonna run. Run, 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 run! This is safe, right? I think it worked out. Stuck. Hell yeah, I'm alive! <laughs> you clean up a crime scene? Yeah, we're cleaning up uh, Santa's rampage. Santa lost it, and now we have to clean up the aftermath. Ow! Yes! While we're at it, we'll throw this out too. Bing! Bing! Stop. There we go. Speaking of crime scene cleaners, there's game dev that is just that. I mean, this game is also, although this isn't crime scene so much as is like alien guts in the base game. Come on. Nice. So now. Right, I remember this now. I have to, like, make sure it doesn't get too bloody, otherwise I just make the floor dirtier. Yummy. Oh, that water's looking pretty dirty. Let's, uh, clear a path here. Yeah, that's gonna be dirty now. Alright, so let's just very carefully... I'm gonna come back for that later. I don't want to make too much more of a mess if I can help it. Oh, no. Yum. God dang it. Ugh. No! Alright, well now I have a bucket for the- Ow. The bucket for the limbs. <laughs> yeah, what a cheery concept for the holiday, right? It's a fun little, um, a holiday DLC that they came out with. There you are. All right. Um, there was more stuff on the ceiling. This room's looking pretty good. Yeah, those are just shadows, right? Yeah, aw, oh, beans.
Ah! I'm getting physics into walls. Hold on, hold on. God dang. Which Halligan made this mess? I'd hope none of y'all are in line with Santa. Because in this game, he's not a very good dude. And that would be very disappointing. Oh, good. This is also disgusting now. Come on. Where are you, Mop? Oh. It's so bloody and gross. Ah, oh, god dang it. Ah, oh, beans! It's making my job harder. Let's throw away bloody bucket number one. And then bloody bucket number two. I know I'm making a bit of a trail, but it's fine. And before Cora trips, it spills bloody water everywhere. I hope not. That would really suck. There we go. It's alright if I have a few, uh, footprints here and there. I'll clean them up. The Tooth Fairy fiasco was worse. Oh, I'm terrified to ask what that means. Come on. There we go. Ah, beans. Just want to make sure that I have like a bit of a clean path here. All right. Uh, that bucket's no go. All right, but this table's clean now, right? Um. Cool. So like we can put all these boxes here. Ugh. I stepped in something black and Icarus, and I don't know what it is. Kind of Iker. Is there a time limit? I think if you're doing achievements, maybe. But I like to just take my time. Can I get you out from the wall? No. It's stuck. Har har fiddle dee dee. Okay. Oh, that's not a good sign. Uh, into the limb bucket. This water is icky. We're gonna take this. Never ending. Hello. Yeah, this really is the same concept as Power Wash Sim. I would agree with that. Um, it's just that you can you can move backwards in your progress a lot more in this one. But this one, no, they both have multiplayer. Never mind, ignore me. I was about to be like, oh, only one of them does. God dang it. Making a mess. Making a mess. Dunk. Oof. Ah! I want to scream. I'm working so hard. God dang it. Thank you. Imagine if you had a team. No, I'd be worse. 
Because you run the risk of running into each other and like messing up everyone's progress. scrolling the wrong way for my mop. Please excuse me. There's my bucket. I couldn't remember where I put it. <laughs> Chill maker, hello! Just doing a little cash oh, beans. Just doing a casual little mop-up brew job. Have you checked the basement? I have. I think we have taken care of the basement. Um, at least in its like frick. Double frick. <laughs> uh in the sense that I think we picked up all the little bits and bobs. What's up? The ceiling! Ah, oh, beans. You know, I actually have to make sure that the ceiling isn't dirty, because I do have some spots I have to get to somehow. Break! I love when my aim is bad, and I have no one to blame but myself. Alright, let's, uh... Get that. Yeah, the flooring's nice when it's not covered in elf guts. Who's paying to clean this? Is it Santa? I kinda hope not. If he couldn't pay his elves, I don't know how he could pay me. If I had to guess it's some North Pole insurance adjuster, I don't know. I probably could have read the brief, but I got lazy. <laughs> oh, this is just icky now, right? Okay. Be gone, foul water. Bing bong. There you go, thank you for the seven stream streak. I do really appreciate that you make an effort to stop in. That's so nice. Bing. Bing, bing. Bing, bing, bing. You know what, I can clean this whole section because I won't need to be going back and forth. Hand plane pine flooring. Yeah, that's that's freaking nice. I'm gonna be honest. I prefer hardwood floors to carpeted floors. Cause like with hardwood, you can just put your own carpet in if you want to. Oh, there's shotgun shells. Like if you really, really are, are attached to carpeting, you can just put a rug in, you know? <laughs> Abby, thank you for the raid. Welcome raiders. Hello, we are playing Viscera Cleanup Detail, uh, Santa's Rampage, so please uh, note there is a lot of uh, simulated gore in this. Um, but thank you so much for the raid! Hello, everyone! If this is your first time here, welcome in. My name's Clara Dogford. I am a variety streamer, golden retriever, dog girl. And uh, in this community... Oh, that's gonna be bad. Sorry, I didn't want to get more guts everywhere. Um... <laughs> In this community, we do uh, action-adventure games, role-playing games, the occasional roguelite. I'm also a singer and an artist. Um, if anyone's interested, I do have art commissions open, and I will be taking animated emote commissions and uh, static emote commissions, too. Starting in January, wow! I would love to hear what you're up to in stream. If you got to do post-stream care, please feel free. But thank you so much for bringing your community here. That's so freaking sweet. And we're just gonna... Oh boy. Yeah, alright. <laughs> Thank you for that, Wiggles. Uh, everything's currently on a wait list, only because I will be uh, taking a short vacation. Um, and so I won't be able to like work on commissions very much, but I will be getting back to them uh, in the new year. And I'm very excited to do so. 
I really need a uh, guts box for this room. Like a, a, oh, you know what? I can use the water bucket. Oh, <gasps> Sorry, I was thinking like I need a box, but the, the path to my box is uh, super bloody and gross. So I'm going to just use this bucket. And we'll just throw out all the shotgun shells in here. I'm a genius. Waha! So hard to see these amongst everything else, but... I think... If you put a yellow warning sign near a bucket, it can't knock over. <gasps> Bro, what?! Since wet man, I had no idea. That's extremely good to know. Thank you. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna. Bing wong. Ding dong. Knock knock. Okay. Oh. What happened at Santa's? So, from what we were reading, um, Santa was getting a lot of angry letters from children that were very, um, uh, conceited and, like, moany and, and rude. Also, the elf union was upset that he wasn't respecting the elf union. Also, he was being sued by a bunch of people, and so Santa just kind of lost it, is, uh, my understanding. And so now we're cleaning up the aftermath of his rampage. Santa's a Pinkerton! <laughs> I'm telling you, uh, listen, we don't share Santa's values in this community. We're union ride or die, babies. The Howligan way. Did we get an elf on the ceiling? Oh no, did we? If there was an elf in the rafters, that would suck. Okay. Quick! Barnacles. Ugh. I wonder how many buckets I'm gonna knock over before the end of this. <laughs> Just a little ho ho homicide. <laughs> that would also have been a really good tagline for this. Because it's called officially Santa's Rampage. I wish it was called Deck the Halls, personally. Because um, I think that would have been really funny. Uh, but Ho 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 Homicide is very funny. Um... We'll put this in the empty bucket. There's an elf on a beam somewhere? Aw, oh, frick. I'm gonna have to keep an eye out. Oof. Um. I'm seeing some gore up there, but I'm not seeing an elf specifically. Not yet. That doesn't mean they're not there. It just means I'm not seeing them. Deck the owls with elf and holly. Oh no. <laughs> Yikes. Don't knock over the blood bucket, Dogford. Don't do the same thing thrice. Uh. Oh, the elf might have fallen when the TNT went off. Got all the elves though. Maybe that's optimistic of me, but I think I did. We're gonna just roast you. Water buckets roasting on an open fire. Elf chunks litter all the floors. Whoops. Beep, 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 beep. Right. 
What if you Baldur's Gate it and lay all the floors with dynamite? Um, I will explode and die and have to clean up my corpse. Because I already accidentally put the dynamite... Well, I, I intentionally put the dynamite in the fireplace. Ah, oh, frick. I intentionally put dynamite in the fireplace, not thinking anything would happen, even though I was warned. And I was like, I don't think it's going to be that bad. And dear reader, it was that bad. Um, <laughs> I have no one to play but myself. Nope, that's wrong. The thing is, though, um, even if we wipe up the blood here, it's still gonna show up on, like, uh, 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 blacklight cameras and stuff, right? Like, imagine being like, yeah, I'm in the, I'm in the market for a workshop. Let me just pull out my blacklight camera just to see what happens, and then it's this. Although I think you have to disclose if a crime is committed somewhere in real estate. That might be state by state, though. I've seen it on TV shows. I don't actually know if that's always the case or not. Who is Dear Reader? Sorry, it's a... <laughs> it's like a vocal stim. Screams. <laughs> if you clean with certain chems, the blood won't react later. I did not know that. I would not be very good at committing crimes, I guess. Although I'm not really in the market to go doing something like this. Frick! How did I knock it over? I was just standing next to it. You have to disclose if certain crimes were committed on the property. That sounds right. Yeah. <laughs> Why do I don't have some sort of bloodthirst? Excuse you. I am an extremely well-behaved dog girl. I've never knowingly committed any crimes. And I say knowingly because I don't know. Maybe I jaywalked somewhere when I wasn't supposed to. But you know what I mean. I would get these carpets sent to a dry cleaner. There's no way the mud that all this gore and soot's coming out of carpet just with a little bit of mopping. When I got to my house, they had to disclose if there had been any deaths on the property. Zero, thankfully. Oh, so it's not like an opt-in. It's like a here's our records. And in this case, it's zero. Interesting. You can tell how much I've like bought houses, right? <laughs> that is a world that is very foreign to me. Oh, whoops. I think this is getting pretty nasty, right? Yeah, we're gonna just... Bonk. Here's our records! Pulls out high score. No! Buying a house in this economy? No, but for real, though. Although, I'm gonna be honest. I've never really aspired to owning a home. Right? Like... I don't need that much space, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just one dog girl. Like, yeah, like, I guess some space for another dog would be cool, like an actual dog. I would love to have a pet. But, like, I, I think the problem is, like, all the homes being built right now that I'm, like, see- Like, because people on TikTok will talk about the real estate market and whatever. And it'll be, like, you know, a, a four-bedroom, five-bath mega mansion. And it's, like, I- truly don't need that much space. I am just a dog girl, right? Like, I don't really want that much space. I don't like having a lot of space to clean, if I'm being honest. Like, frick. Like, I don't, I don't want to have to do that. I want to be able to just, uh, I don't know, have an easy time. <laughs> Like, whenever I see those really big homes where, like, half of the house is two stories tall, you know, it's a very American-style house where, like, uh, uh, you'll have, like, a balcony to the second floor overlooking a living room or whatever. All I can ever think is, like, how do you dust a house that tall, right? Like, that sounds awful to me. <laughs> I guess if you can, you just get a cleaning service. I don't know. That's... Not really something I'm interested in, personally. Oh, we gotta get rid of all these weapons. 
You don't? <laughs> you just let it collect dust? What if you have an allergy? What if you have pets and their dander gets everywhere? I have so many questions. Thank you. Dude. Get up there. Candy cane. Oh, whoops. Wrong button. Candy cane. Frick. I'm making a mess. That's fun. That's like the alien from the main game. I'm looking for that handgun. We're just gonna... No. Or I guess that's technically a revolver, but, you know, splitting hairs. Also, HOA suck. Okay, personally, if I ever were to get a home, I would not want to be in an HOA. HOA, for anyone who doesn't know, is short for um, Homeowners Association. And for me personally, I, I don't really want to be in one. Um, at best, they just have a lot of rules about how you decorate your home, but at worst, they're a lot to deal with, and I just don't really want to. Do you know what castle is for sale? That doesn't surprise me at all. HOAs of the devil. All I'll say is uh, look into the history of HOAs. It shouldn't be hard to find, but uh, that alone should probably make you- Ah, frick. <sighs> make you a little world weary. Bing bong. Bing. Beep, beep, beep. But yeah, it's hard because like I'd really love to move out and like just get even like a little apartment would be fine. But like, bruh, the asking prices that some people are putting out are just insane. Oh, I'm don't get me wrong. I'm very fortunate to have somewhere to go. Right. But uh, uh, sometimes I really miss having a space for myself. Oh, I meant to put the TNT in that water bucket. <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna swap, 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 mop. Like, honestly, a house this big would suck. Having to clean all of this? No, thank you. I guess that's why you get roommates. <laughs> Split up the chores. Well, that's assuming that they're amenable to cleaning. I've been very lucky in the roommate department that, like, nine times out of ten, they've been real good about cleaning, and we have similar standards of cleanliness. Uh, I don't want to push my luck, but I've been lucky so far. It's worth using the sniffer. Oh, I forgot. Thank you for reminding me. I keep forgetting to use the dang thing. I was thinking I'll just do, like, a, a once-over and then see what I've missed. Oh, that's foul. Alright, so we're gonna just dunk you in here. Hopefully that works. Don't kill me, please. Ah! There we go. How is it living back home? I will say it has been nice because I just didn't see my family much before I moved back. I was always working and could never get time off and like... I don't know, at school, even like when school had holidays, I was still always working one of my other jobs and, you know, naturally someone has to work the holiday and so I ended up working a lot of them. Um, thankfully, I would always be able to bargain for the new year, but like, I never got to like take spring break off or anything except once, one time, and I had to work some horrible shifts to do it. Um, but my point is like, I really just didn't see my family much at all. Um, between school and graduation. And so, like, I've seen my family so much more now. And obviously, it's because, like, we live together in junk. Frick! Oh, we're okay. Um, so that genuinely has been nice. Um, I do, I do kind of wish I had my own space, though. Um, being away from home, I have developed my own sense of, like, cleanliness isn't the right word. How I like organize my kitchen is really different, you know? And so since I'm moving back in, it was like, oh, I'm not gonna like mess with other people's kitchens. That's rude. I'm the guest, right? Um, but like, I really wish I could like have certain things and I we just don't have space for it, you know? So like, I kind of miss that independence, I guess. Um, but it's been great to be able to like cook with Broford and like hang out a lot because we really did not see each other for a while. Um, so like that part's been nice. 
Yeah, family adjacent space. Like literally even like a condo where we were neighbors would be freaking great, right? Uh, like that'd be fine. Uh, and again, I want to be clear, like my family's good and I'm very lucky to have a place to go at all. Um, but I think it's I think it's like one thing when you're like a teenager and you've only ever known a certain lifestyle and then it's another thing to like have some independence and develop your own sense of like how you like living in a space. My mom appreciates me cooking dinner two to three days a week. That's so nice of you. I, when I first moved in, we were doing that and we would like take turns cooking and stuff. But after I got my tummy diagnosis, um, it just became easier for me to make my own food. Um, Cause basically I can't eat uh, certain foods cause it gives me really bad um, acid reflux. Uh, and the, the really big ones are like garlic and onion, which anyone with a sense of taste is gonna be like, bruh, you can't cook with that? Yes. So I wasn't gonna like make my family not eat seasoned food. I'm white, I'm not a monster, right? Like, <laughs> like I didn't wanna do that to them. Uh, so now I just kind of make my own thing. Um, but like, I still make bread and stuff and they, they gladly eat that. Thank Although when I first got the diagnosis and I was like struggling to figure out food, Broford was really great at like coming up with fun recipes because he's always been creative in a kitchen. So that was very appreciated. Uh, Cause like whenever I would Google like, okay, like what are some recipes? A lot of them were like very much eating disorder adjacent. Like if you're looking to eat no carbs, no sugar, no fiber. And I was like, bro, I just, I just need to eat stuff that's not gonna hurt my tummy. Like. <laughs> for the 28 months. I appreciate that so much. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, oh, beans. Oh, hold on. We don't want this here. I'm white, not a monster. Needs to go to the club. <laughs> I always want to make it very clear. I'm not a person of color. I never want people to think that. Um, but I still use seasoning, right? Like, <laughs> I have standards. Um, well... How am I gonna get you down, bud? Jeez. Where's the rest of you? I guess I picked it up earlier. Yeet! Yeah, I think I got the rest of you, so that's good. Oh, they have it's adorable! Thank you! This is from a uh, Twitter artist. Um, their username is D-E-I underscore P-F-T. They make really great VTuber assets. Also, Robin, thank you for continuing your gift sub, uh, Beans. That's very nice of you. I appreciate that. Thanks. I can't tell if this is a gift or a weapon, but I'm gonna chuck it to be safe. I love when you buy an ingredient and then come home and they already had it. My challenge is I will request something very specific and then uh, my parents will be like, oh, well, this will be fine as an, a, a, like, this is such a specific thing. So I wanted to make some cheese danishes for uh, breakfast as an easy, like, grab and go option for the fam, right? Um, and I have personally noticed that there are certain, even if it's the same brand of cream cheese, Wiggles, thank you for that. Thank you so much. Break. Um, even if it's the same brand of cream cheese, um, sometimes how it is stored will change the uh, formula, right? So, like, um, there's like a certain type of cream cheese I really like getting, but only in like a very specific container because in other containers it has more stabilizers, so it cooks just wrong. I just don't like how it cooks personally. It doesn't bake right. Um, so I had to be like, all right, I need this very specific like eight ounce container. If you can't find it, just don't buy the cream cheese, right? And so my poor parents were like, oh, this will be a fine tub replacement. And I was like, no, it's not gonna bake. It's not gonna work. <laughs> Oh, man. But again, they meant well, and we still ate it, and it was all fine. Um, but it's, like, stuff like that, right? Like, eh. Come on. Eek. Is there no blood over here? No, not for now, at least. I'll grab this. Ugh. Shoot. I'll grab the sniffer if I need to. No, hold on. I wanted to set that up right. We're gonna pick you up. Set you down. We're gonna, eh. We're gonna, eh. Okay. There we go. Yeah, this is gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a while to, uh, clean up the mess down here. Look at all that. Jeez. 
There was an elf impaled on antlers here. Yep. Squeegee, squeegee, squeegee. I think the other hard part about being home is being away from like literally everyone I know. <laughs> I think that's truly been the hardest part is like, I saw this trend on TikTok where people will get their friends together and uh, they'll like choose a karaoke track for a friend to sing and they have to guess what the song is. And I was like, I want to do that so bad. That would be so fun. I don't have anyone I can do that with. <laughs> Thank there we go. Think. Uh, worse, worse, worse. Like, I don't know if y'all have been seeing um, nine month cruise TikTok. I don't fully understand it because I haven't seen any TikToks specifically about the cruise. I've only seen people talking about it. Um, but essentially, like, there's this cruise that's gonna take nine months around the world, and a bunch of people have been talking about it, and. It was talking about how, like, you'll have this sense of community and you'll get to see the world and, like, have all these friends. And someone was talking about how, like, the reason it's going to be successful is just because it gives people a third place to socialize, right? Like, you'll be able to do your work and, like, get food and then also meet people. Uh, it's like a walkable city, but on a boat. Uh, and I was just thinking, like, personally, I don't think I really like cruises that much. I've only been on a cruise once when I was little. And it wasn't really for me. I like being able to like plan my own vacations more personally and cruises kind of don't really let you do that. Like you kind of have to do whatever they plan for you. But I just kept thinking like, bro, what you're looking for is a city. <laughs> is that the one they forgot to get a boat? I don't know. I haven't seen any updates on it. I'm on Neil the Seal TikTok. I love Neil the Seal TikTok. Okay, if y'all don't know, Tasmania. It's an island south of Australia, right? And they have elephant seals in that region. And once a month, elephant seals will come up uh, uh, onto land. And so the seal that everyone has dubbed Neil is just this little menace <laughs> who just gets in everyone's way. Um, and I would like to note that, like, you know, humans are in the way of the seal, blah, blah, blah. Um, also, he's only going to get bigger, so I think it's cute now, but elephant seals get ginormous. He's either an elephant seal or a bull seal. I forget. Um, I think it's going to be less cute and more of a hazard as he gets bigger and older. Um, but for now, it is it is kind of great to see someone trying to get to their car. And there's just fat old seal laying in the street and like, oh, Neil, I gotta go to work, buddy. <laughs> I do really like Neil the Seal TikTok. It's been fun. Elephant seal, thank you. Yeah, see, I couldn't remember specifically what type of seal he was. I know he's a big one, though. And he's only gonna get bigger. We're gonna put some dynamite in the bloody water. Because, look, we're gonna be economical about this. Come here. We're just gonna... Hold on, we gotta get this other dynamite stick in here. Come on! I can't tell if it fell out or not. Tasmania is a nice place to visit. It looks beautiful. From what I've seen on the TikToks, it looks like a lovely place. Oh, I think that other dynamite stick fell out. I've seen on TikTok as people completely having no idea the scale of Australia. Australia is similar in concept to the United States in that it is much bigger than you think. I've never been there, but like, I don't know. I feel like I've, I've, I have an understanding of it. It's, it's truly ginormous. Um, beautiful, but ginormous. It's kind of like when people tell Americans how they want to go to LA and Vegas and Florida, like Disney World, all in the same week. And it's like, bruh, pick a region because that's not going to happen. You'll spend your entire trip traveling. You know, my understanding is Australia is very similar to that. I think Australia is a giant desert. Um, Australia, to my understanding, does have multiple biomes, uh, but like a lot of the middle of it is primarily desert. Yes, it's, it's, it's fairly arid. Um, the coasts are where there's more population, is my understanding. 
Uh. Ink. Let's grab the sniffer. I don't know how to read the sniffer, though. That's the only challenge. I don't really know how to interpret it. It's like 90% of people live on the coast. Yeah, my understanding is it's it's primarily a coastal like me. Yeah, because, you know. Okay, that looks good, I think. Um, We're going to just pick this up. Take this out of here. All right, let's see how the sniffer is doing in this room. <coughs> Looks like I missed something. The middle of Australia has a lot of communities. Yeah, oh yeah, to be clear, yeah, I'm not trying to be like, oh yeah, there's nothing there. Um, my understanding though is you do have to be careful when traveling in the middle, like, because there are stretches of just, like, no civil, like, you have to make sure you have gas and stuff. One is setting is mop mess, the other is pickup mess. I are the colored bars the messier. Oh, it, thank y'all. There we go. That bucket's almost toast. Yeah, right? Yeah. Still, this is looking a lot better than it did an hour ago. <laughs> You're referring to the Nullarbor Plains, which stretch running east-west along the bottom of Australia? Thank you. I Because I've seen videos talking about it before where people are like, hey, like, if you're traveling, like, really make sure you know what you're doing because you don't want to be caught unawares. I think there was a news story about that maybe, like, a year ago or so where somebody was, like, signaling for help. And thankfully they were okay, but it was, like, an educational moment. Okie dokie. I'm like scared to take this bucket upstairs because I don't want to tip it over by accident and then like screw myself. Come on. There we go. I don't know how to put the ornaments back where they were. They were on the garland. I know that much. But I don't know how to get them back there. Once I clean that hole, I'm going to put the wood back. I think that's dirty. I've been up through central Australia. There's an underground town called Cooper Petty. I've heard of that town. I've seen it on pictures. It's like all like in caverns and stuff. It's really cool. Okay, we're going to... Whoops. All right, so nope. I want to pick up the wood. Put it back. I don't know if I can really put these back all the way, but I'll do my best. Oh, this is garbage. Uh. I'm gonna be careful about grabbing that other plank. I don't want to knock stuff over. Thank. All right, so let's grab the plank. I have to speed run a level in a fourth of the average time. Ooh, good luck. <laughs> That's gonna be a challenge for sure. Mopping up blood on Christmas Eve. We're gonna pick you up and we're gonna put you in the corner. Can't. Eh. 
Ah, oh, barnacles. Stepped in a bunch of blood. Alrighty, we're gonna clean this all up. How's my bucket looking? My bucket's still looking good. Dunk. Okay. Um. Can't tell if this is a toy or not. I might have been accidentally throwing away toys. Now that I look at stuff more closely. <laughs> Help. I always wanted to try out, a, like, a paintball gun, but I wasn't allowed to because that was for boys. And I would get hurt, which is probably true, actually, because I am very clumsy. But I always wanted to go paintballing, and I never had anyone to go with. Or I guess, rather, I just wasn't really given the option. Go this way. Oh. Did I go boom again? No, thankfully I did not. Ooh. Dang it. I left this bucket here for uh, any bits that fall out. We're gonna just dunk you in there. Thank you. Let's keep going. I think, yeah, I missed some spots. Oh, hold on. Wish I had a light. The KFC family bucket. Okay, up here. Okay. I do know there was a rafter I have to get to. Over here. Eh. <laughs> um. Oh, there's the radio finally figured out where it was. Oh, whoops. There we go. It only took me the entire playthrough to find it. There's another spot on the ceiling? Oh, frick, where? Above the fire. Oh, thank you. I forgot about this one. Wah! That was probably from when I exploded. Um... Hmm... Doggo, thanks for hanging, have a good one! Thank you. Bonk. Um... Oh, hold on. Ow! <laughs> There's a... That. We're gonna pick you up and put you down. I think... That might be it, y'all. Might have done it. I mean, maybe I'm being optimistic, but... Happy, happy holiday! Thank you so much! I am... I'm looking forward to having some time off. Um... I... It's hard, because even when I take days off, I usually end up doing some kind of work. Because, like... I don't know, my PC's here. 
Uh, and since I'm going to be traveling, I, like, won't be able to. <laughs> so it's going to be a good... Good opportunity to just kind of rot on the couch. Um... I think that's it. Hold on. There's still a spot in the cellar up front. Oh, <gasps> thank you. Hold on. I want to organize everything. Also, is that a knife? That's a handgun. We don't want that. No! Hold on. In the cellar or near the cellar? On the wall? In this room? Or all the way down. Oh, hold on. I got footsteps. What do I got here? Oh, uh, nothing. Definitely not buckets of blood. <laughs> um. Oh, I do have to take these antlers up. I was studying for a test and realized I studied the sections out of order. Bro, that's the worst. I hate that. Oh, and it's like, it's not like a huge deal, but like sometimes information is sequential. Cellar front stall on the left. Hold on, let me use the sniffer. Where is it? This is my left. My vision is bad. Barbecue turkey? You know, I don't think I've ever had barbecue turkey before. Above the wood. Oh, here it is. Oh, big brain. Thank you. I couldn't see it. <laughs> That's one of the challenges of this game, is that it is dark, and I'm not- I don't have good vision. Um... I think we got all the shotgun shells, we got all the glass, all the bottles. Thank you! Um... Let's finish burning this. Bottle by the min machine. I think it's eggnog, but to be safe, let's just chuck it. Ba bam And we're gonna mop. And we're gonna... Is that all mop? Yes. Yeah. This machine's gotta get mopped, I think. Yeah, I was right. And then we're gonna clean this. Arm. Um, I... I'm gonna just put the candy cane up there. Ding dong. And then... I believe... That's everything. Considering I can't, like, patch up the wall. Um... Actually, hold on. I can burn these letters, right? Yeah. We're gonna just... Yo! And we're just gonna... Yeet! Pick this back up. Set that right. Um... Hold on. I need my hands. Oh, wait, can my little pad pad tell me anything? Objectives. No objectives. Oh. Uh... I think it's done, y'all. I think we successfully cleaned up Santa's rampage. Yeah. Unless you gotta burn the planks. I'm gonna leave them because they were, I don't know. I don't, maybe I'm wrong, but it felt right to leave them. I, 
I wish I could do more for my company. Please fill in the particulars of the IR-8 form accurately. This will serve as company records for both your conduct and the incident itself. Is that pronounced Eogi Trail? Let me know. Hello, welcome in. Omission or perversion of details, blah, blah, blah. Incident severity. Please tick the box that describes the severity of the incident you worked on. Uh... Best day ever? <laughs> I browned out. Work method. Describe your work method. What was your work style? Can I... Can I type in here? Ooh! Uh, what was my work style? Methodical work. Please give me a raise. <laughs> Loggy trail. Thank you. Efficiency. Please tick the box that describes how efficiently you believe the job was completed. Expertly. Incident particulars. Please tick the boxes that best describe the particulars of the whole incident. Guns. Fire. Uh... Explosives? Homicide. Personal account. Any relevant information you wish to report. Describe the day's work. I like this company very much. I believe I would like it more. If I got a raise. Oh, beans. Hold on. I don't want to do that. Okay. Think. Please enter the number of aliens. Spent shell casings. Aw, oh, shoot, I wasn't counting. It was 12 rounds of ammunition. Right? <laughs> Nothing was... Items incinerated? Oh... Hundreds. Yeah, how many shells are in one case? I don't know how to do that math. I'm going to say... 200? 20, 12 cases of 24? Oh, that's a lot of math. Who wants to do that math for me? <laughs> Describe the on-site relationship. I didn't have any fellow employees. Uh, no answer. Two hundred eighty-eight. Thank y'all. That doesn't feel right, though. Hold on, I didn't find that many shotgun shells. I want to say, I want to say fifty. That's probably too many, but that's what I'm gonna say anyways. Actually, I'm gonna say closer to thirty-five. Um, please enter your union identification number so we can add you to our list, and so we know who to negotiate with, of course. Please fill in any relevant info per your union's regulations. Your union is not exempt from the confidentiality clause with the company. Burr, 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 burr. Ceased employees. Please fill in the individual WTF-12 forms below. Oh, I don't remember how anyone would... Oh, no. I don't remember how any... I don't remember how any... Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, uh, I'm a bad employee. I don't remember. There's a, that's so many. I oh, I should have done. I didn't know to do that. We're gonna just uh. I'm proud of my performance. I'm not doing all those forms because I didn't write all that down. Oh, <gasps> I was promoted. You left Santa's workshop after carefully preserving every treasured Christmas item as well as cleaning the workshop. Although you're not sure if you'll ever get over the horror you witnessed, at least you treated the tragedy with a measure of dignity. With your holiday joy now forever lost, you wonder if it was enough. Sure, while the thought of maybe one day earning Employee of the Month and picturing the shiny presents being treated with respect eases your heart, the morbid look on massacred elven faces will haunt you for years to come.
Polar Sanitation Inc. Official notice from the desk of Mr. A. Wall. Dear employee, due, after due consideration and thorough investigation, it is the corporation's view that you should receive a promotion. You shall receive the following benefits. Upgrade from 24 by 32 of office space to 26 by 40. A 5% 5% income increase is actually pretty good. Three space jump on the company equipment waiting list. Keep up the good work and you could rise to a steam position of hygiene captain within 20 years. Wowie zowie. Um. Angry families prosecute Santa. After countless reports of goods received from Santa's workshop containing black residue, families around the world are persecuting Santa for ongoing cases of tuberculosis. Santa's workshop maintains that they are not really to blame, but that the Restoration Corporation employed to clean the workshop failed to clean up some black sooty markings. I didn't realize I had to clean all the boxes. Oops. Santa is still believed to be on the run, and there is no evidence to suggest he is involved with the new management at the workshop. Knife juggler stabs himself. <laughs> Not a few hours before the biggest show in the Arctic Circle was to be open to the public, Snuffle Knife Finger, the famous elf knife juggler, was found dead in his tent. Fellow entertainers say they had never seen the knife before and that he would never use such a knife for his act. It's too big. Police suggest he may simply have been curious and attempted to juggle it anyway. The elf community is in an uproar over the police once again, simply dismissing the death of an elf without even bothering to investigate. Wow. Oofers. Ugh. God. Ooh, what's this? Elf, a mental case, says doctor. The old Cloudy Peaks Asylum has recently received a strange new patient, Blinky Bellfeet. The elf was admitted after reportedly, quote, freaking out at his new work job working in Santa's workshop. His small colleagues suggest he lost it after drinking from a shotgun casing he momentarily mistook for a drinking glass. Aw, oh, I thought I caught them all. Whoops. They say he went, quote, odd after he was told the dark story behind the workshop's recent and tragic history. We all remember it well. We hope the little tyke gets better soon. That feels like a mean thing to say about a, a an elf. The little tyke. Drunk child kills family? After being thoroughly disappointed with his presence, young Albie threw a tantrum and then ran to his room. In the night, he drunk the eggnog he received. <gasps> no, the eggnog was bad. Oops. In the morning, a neighbor found Albie covered in blood and passed out next to his dead mother and father. Authorities are bringing a new lawsuit against the disreputable workshop who sent the alcohol to the child. <gasps> okay, so do make sure you get rid of the eggnog. I was wrong. Subject. Your bottom is mine. Ha ha ha, that's it, you're dead. I've spent years inching my way up the corporate ladder, doing every disgusting job on offer, hoping to goddamn well get somewhere. Then guess what? You frickin' come along and take all- uh, Take the piss from me! To hell with mercy! I'm gonna cook your arse for New Year's turkey! I'm gonna cut you a slice by slice of foul beast for a f Oh, sorry! A foul feast for a foul beast! Just you wait! Edgar Firecock! I- I'm reading what the game says! Do not come for me! Please, Edgar, don't come for me! In more ways than one. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't program this. I didn't write this. I'm just reading. I'm just going to put that down. We're just going to, we're just going to keep on trucking. <laughs> oh, what's this? Oh, no. Contagion kills thousands. What did I do? Desperate attempts to curb the outbreak of elf flu gripping the world at the moment continue. While authorities launch a manhunt for those responsible after scientists revealed the source of the outbreak in each case was a blood-tainted gift from Santa's workshop in the North Pole. The workshop has denied responsibility despite having packaged the good. They instead claim a sanitation corporation is responsible. Oh no. I was bad at my job. I thought I did good. Oh, okay. Official inspection report conducted by Mr. B. Heartless. The workshop appeared to be in good state, more or less. Despite searching the area thoroughly, I was unable to find anything offensive, at least with the cleaning performance. The crew employed to work on this workshop performed acceptably, and I would tentatively recommend that they be assigned to other jobs. I did, however, find a disturbing lack of urination facilities, but that's besides the point. I would be pleased if more employees were this good. I'll be keeping a keen eye on this restoration crew. If they don't keep it up, they'll be hearing from me. So did I do a good job or a bad job? I don't know anymore. I don't want to drink this nog. Also, there's a big old hole in the floor. I don't want to go down the, the spooky hole. Um, 96%.
Okay. So I like almost did it perfect. That's a, a what, an A? Janitors destroy Christmas? Children around the world are crying after a statement released by the Arctic Postal Service stated that, quote, due to the tragic events at Santa's workshop and the complete and unsanctioned destruction of festive items and presents by the restoration clue who employed to clean up, Christmas is canceled. While Christmas may not actually be canceled, the delivery of parcels to children across the world is now impossible. Quote, there's simply not enough time anymore thanks to their janitors. Sorry, kids. So blowing myself up with dynamite did have consequences. Whoopsie doodle. <laughs> And here I was like, oh, I won't blow up. It'll be fine. Everything will be great. Okay. I want to throw out all this garbage. What's in the spooky hole in the ground? I don't know what else is down here. I was afraid there was going to be like a corpse or something, but it just looks like it's a workshop space. Oh, hey, hold on. It's, um... I got Rudolph's nose. Oh, it's covered in blood. Never mind, we're leaving it in there. <laughs> Whoops. Death report accuracy 0%. Whoops. Yeah, I did bad on that. Um, because I didn't know I could. Oopsie doodle. Oh, hey, at least it's pretty outside. Well. <laughs> Good news is I cleaned up the workshop with 96% accuracy. Bad news is people are dying because of various illnesses borne by the presence at the workshop. On Christmas, they got Dog Girl in a mini skirt Santa outfit cleaning up the presents. That's a great Christmas. <laughs> I wouldn't be wearing this while cleaning, that's for sure. I mean, not unless I want to get, I don't know, bleach all over myself. Oh, hey, it's a sniffer. Think. Well, thanks for joining me for a very cursed holiday edition of Viscera Cleanup Crew. I. I really have nothing to say in my defense except rest in peace, all of the elves. Um, Santa should support the elf union. <laughs> Thanks, everyone.